Hello, Ed. Yeah, it's me. Look. I'll call you back. Let me the garage! Saw the flames. Dad, don't try and speak. What's wrong with this flaming thing? I need some more dry wood. Don't leave me alone again. Huh? Eh? Well, don't be shocked, lad. There's no out there except rabbits and birds. I'm scared. Huh? Eh? It's probably your dad come to find us. What if he's not? Oh, well, then it's a very big pheasant, isn't it? <laughs> oh. oh! It's you. Blood. <laughs> you frightened the life out of us, then. <laughs> what are you doing? Eh? Oh, I, I used to be a gamekeeper on this land. So I was out walking with young Samson here and not showing him a few tricks of the old trade. That'd be the poaching trade, would it? No, no, no. No, no. If you found some traps, it's nothing to do with me. Keep on getting lost. Uh, no, not lost. Just uh, losing our bearings. D did you see me van? I mean, if you could just point me in the right direction. I've got a better idea. Why don't you two come back to mine and get warm? Oh, well, I don't know about that. We could it. finish Declan's whiskey. What do you think? Come on, we'll soon warm up. Uh, No, Dad, you're not as stupid as you told, will you? Just take for a minute while you fellow have a get checked on. What's happened? Uh, the, old, the old place just went up. Yeah, it's, it's a miracle it came out alive. Okay? Oh, Chad is fine, Joe. Can we have a bit of room here? So what started it? Oh, no one knows. First I knew was Adam was knocking my door down. Yeah, Adam was already in there, thank Adam? God. Yeah, Adam was the one who saved it. Oh, you need to keep <laughs> it in. Put it on. We just keep your eye on him and need to check on Sarah. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Looks like you've had a lucky escape, mate. Just to be on the safe side, I want to take you down the general. Let them give you once over. Uh, no way. Hey! No, I said no! Have your own way. Make sure he keeps his mask on. I'll check on him again in a minute. Oh, my God, was anyone in there? Kane. Adam pulled him out. He pulled Kane out, right? Was anybody hurt? I don't think so. Good. Now, can we please go home? No, it's up a I've only just got here. I've stuck him in front of Charlie. He's happy as Larry. Oh, <laughs> usually the cure for most things. How about you? How do you mean? You okay? Well, why wouldn't I be? Just mean about the cold and everything. Oh, I've got an eye like a rhino's backside, me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as soon as I need a drink, we'll be at you, eh? You know you can stay as long as you need to. Well, even so, we should be getting back. Well, at least take a seat while you're waiting. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, about tonight, I'd, uh, well, I'd be grateful if, uh, if you didn't mention it to anyone. How do you mean? Well, I feel a bit, you know, well, daft. <laughs> Who doesn't get lost once in a while? No, uh, still. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Well, these things happen, don't they? My mother was always turning up in the wrong place. You are? Well, she'd forget stuff. Sometimes whole days, sometimes... Even her own kids. Oh, hold on. 
Are you saying that I'm like her? No, no, not not at all. It's just if you want someone to talk to. Look, I lost my bearings. You said yourself it can happen to anyone. Of course. That'll be the milk. Bit of a close one, that, eh? What are you playing at? I'm gonna ask you. He's the one who saved you. Tried to murder me, more like. Sip it. I told you something was going on up there. Yeah. Talk about a flaming passion killer. Hey, you don't think it was an insurance scam, do you? Oh, unlikely, considering Kane set fire to himself. True. Now, stop fussing about him and show me a bit of attention. Hello. Voice is working already. Oh, we could have a cuddle, can't we? Or is that off the menu and all? Hmm. We should have a sex band more often. Why? Well, it does wonders for your sex trap. Was that ever in question? No, I'm just saying you can never have too much of a good thing. I wouldn't know. Oh. It's not just you that suffered, you know. No, oh, come here, you big lummox. <laughs> well, I thought tonight was just about quality time. Quality rather than just quantity. I mean it. <laughs> Don't pretend that you haven't set this whole thing up just to seduce me. I object to that. Right, so you expect me to believe that you got all this just so we can snuggle up on the sofa? Is that what you think I am? Some kind of sex addict? Mm. Just because we don't agree about the castration... Mm, the sex to me. ...doesn't mean we can't show a little bit of affection. You're actually serious about this, aren't you? Absolutely. What is it they say? Mm, abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. No, they don't. Where are you going? Early night. Knackered. <laughs> Here you go. It's got a tot of whiskey in it to warm you up. This is uh, very decent of you. Are you sure I can't get you one? Shame not to finish the bottle. No, best not. As soon as he's finished that, we'll be on our way. Oh, thank God. Are you doing it? Uh, I called Sam. Why? Why? Because we've all been worried sick, that's why. What happened to you? You knew I were picking him up. Four hours ago? Yeah, we lost track of time. He's all right, he's just a bit shaken up. Oh, come on, son, let's go on. Aye, I'll come with you. No, you can stay away from us. You what? You heard? I don't want you anywhere near him. Oh, th thanks again for, for ringing us and everything. Uh, I'll make sure your dad gets back okay. Oh, do what you want with him. Come on, son. Right. Come on, then. I'll get you home. Mm. No, no. I'll make my own way back. Oh, I, I really don't think you should. No, I'm fine. Yeah. Thanks again. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Bit of an hero, were you? What did you say? Why didn't you tell me? No? Then why didn't you tell me why you did it? What? Oh. Don't play stupid with me, Adam. I know it was you. What were you thinking? I don't know. You try killing someone and you don't know. It wasn't like that. So what was it like? You just kept pushing me, didn't you? Laughing in my face. I just meant to scare him, that was all. But I'm sorry, all right? I, I made a stupid mistake. Mistake? I swear. I swear, as soon as I realised I came straight back, you can't believe me, mate. What difference does it matter now, anyway? Look at this, send me away, Harry. Stay here and say nothing.
I suppose you two slept through that lot out there. Hardly. It was all I could do to drag Nicola back inside. Not interrupting anything, am I? <sighs> Couldn't sleep as it happens. So come on, then. Come on what? I'm guessing from that soppy grin on your face that a certain tomcat got all the cream. Not exactly. You mean she's up there waiting for you now? Nope. All right, enough talking in riddles. Have you or haven't you? Haven't. So what are you looking so pleased about? Because I'm playing the long game, aren't I? I thought the whole point of chucking that troll a load of oysters down her neck was to get her in the mood. It did. So what are you flaming doing down here then? Driving her wild. Okay, you're officially doing my head in now. <laughs> That's what I'm doing to her. She was on to me, wasn't she? I knew that if I tried anything, she'd knock me back, so I beat her to it. I'll knock myself back. You refuse to sleep with her. It's genius, isn't it? Except for one thing, little brother. You were supposed to sleep with her. And I will. Just as soon as she thinks I don't want to. By the time I finish with her, she'll be begging me for it. Sweet dreams. So these are your premises, yeah? Yeah, look, can I just wait till later? I've left my door with a neighbour. I just need to take a few more details first, all right? I told you, has he all met the cycle? Look, it wasn't how you think. I was there. Trying to murder me, and that's exactly what I'm going to tell them. But you keep your voice down, why? If you tell them that he did this, he's looking at life. Good. After what you did to his family, you owe him. I don't owe him anything. <laughs> his dad died, Kane, and whether you like it or not, that's on you. You can't do this to him. I can, and I am. What, so you've never lost your rag and done something stupid? Please, Kane, I am begging you. Just tell him it was an accident. He's sorry, all right? He messed up. Yeah, too right. All right. Well, if you won't do it for him, then do it for me. You what? I'm asking you. Just let it go this once. Please, for me. Not a chance. Have I ever asked you for anything, eh? Have I? He saved my life once, remember? I wouldn't even be here if it weren't for him. If you do this, I promise you, I will never ask you for anything again. Suits you, Lucy, Motherhood. What's this? It's a mistake. I told them. Told who? The bailiffs. Des and Linda have got a caravan. You can stay here as long as you like. But will an escape to the country have Joe longing for freedom? Love life. Is it nine?